Hey guys, it's Orbstar, and today, welcome to the start of a brand new Real Madrid career mode, and finally, I'm bringing you guys some new videos on this channel. I just want to say quickly, thank you for 500 subscribers, I seriously don't deserve it, because my uploading schedule on this channel has been absolutely shocking, so thank you for that, and I will try to upload on this channel as much as I possibly can. Now, why Real Madrid, you might be asking me, because obviously I'm still doing the Arsenal career mode, so don't worry about that. Just I want to kind of get career mode to upload alongside it because the also career mode takes a long time to edit and record and all that stuff. So I think this is a good team to use. A load of people do like Real Madrid and like watching them play. So I thought Real Madrid could be the perfect team to use. And obviously with it being Real Madrid, the expectations for this series and what we're going to win is going to be pretty high. As what I do want to win is everything. I want to try and win every single cup competition which we are in, which is going to be tough, really tough. Obviously, we've got the Spanish Super Cup, Champions League, the Liga, and the Copa del Rey. Or I think it's just called the Spanish Cup in this game for some reason. Um, so those are the trophies. We're going to try and do the quadruple, which is going to be tough, but we're going to give it a go. So if I'm honest with you guys, I was looking at the team, and I didn't think we need to make any transfers. I thought the team was perfectly good as it was, but... Seeing as we're Real Madrid and got a hell of a lot of money, I thought it would make sense to spend a bit in it on some backup players, maybe. So, we're going for Harry Kane and Sutosic to start things up. Harry Kane, because I thought I needed another striker. And Sutosic, because I just wanted another backup defender. So, I think we had Varane, and that's it. After that, there was no one else. The next player was like 72 rated, which is not good enough. So, I wanted to go for Sutosic. Also, got a few offers for some players. For example, Sammy Kadira. And I sent in a counter offer to City for 30 million euros but I was pretty much expecting them not to accept that and we've just made the first signing of this series he's one of our own and it is big man Harry Kane you know he's a really good player this is coming from an Arsenal fan all right he scored two goals against us on, on the weekend and fair play to him he's a really good young talent and will do good for England and probably I'm not sure about Tottenham he might move but definitely for England in the future we also signed with Tosic as well who is going to be my backup centre back which is a key area which I wanted to kind of fix up and his here comes the real big offer. Chelsea going in for Karen Benzema. It always happens. Always happens. Chelsea always going for Karen Benzema. It's either Chelsea or Arsenal all the time. So I decided to put a counter offer in at 50 million euros. I also rejected an offer for Sami Kadira from Manchester City. And here comes the big news. They go ahead with the deal, which means Karen Benzema will be leaving Real Madrid for Chelsea. Now, you could say that's quite a controversial decision and I probably should not have done it. But in my opinion, it allows me to strengthen the team in other areas. For example, Felipe Coutinho, who I absolutely love in this game. He's got so much flair, so much skill, and I think he would bring a lot to the Real Madrid team. And if I'm honest with you, right, I don't really enjoy playing with Karen Benzema too much in this game. He's obviously still a quality striker, but I'd love to get other players in his place instead. So I keep going for Felipe Coutinho. They keep rejecting our bids. And here's one which I was thinking, whoa, should I go for Marco Royce or not? Should I go for Marco Royce? I started to put an initial 50 million euro offer in just to see what they would say. And obviously, we needed a replacement striker. For Karen Benzema. Now Stefan Jovetic. I know you can't really call him a replacement. He's not as good you'd probably say. But I really want to try um, Stefan Jovetic out. He seems really good. Still quite quite a young player as well. And he's got a decent -ish poten potential as well. Which means he could grow to a decent high overall. So Liverpool accepts your offer for Felipe Coutinho. Which I'm absolutely chuffed about. And if you are still watching this video. I would appreciate if you guys could go and drop a like for the first episode of the series. I would really appreciate that. And I'll try and get the second episode out as soon as possible. So this Marco Royce deal, I think to myself, do I really need him? I'm going to pay a lot for him, but do I really need him? But we're going to come to that decision at the end of this friendly. We've got a friendly against Hanover. I I'm accidentally, I actually went out with my first team, which is a really bad idea when it comes to friendlies. Because of course, when you simulate games, you get injuries. And we got an injury to Hernandez, but thank God. It's a very small injury. He's only going to be out for seven days, which is not too bad. And we also put in an improved offer 
for Stefan Jovetic. I mean, I think it was like £500,000 more, so nothing too bad. And also, Coutinho is coming to Real Madrid, which I'm absolutely chuffed about. And here comes the, the uh, decision. I mean, do I go for Marco Royce or not? Do I need him? £60 million Euros is a hell of a lot. I decided to stall on it, but I can tell you right now, I don't go for Marco Royce. I kind of didn't need him. I knew I didn't need him. The only reason I went for him was because I had the money. I was thinking to myself, okay, I do have the money, but it would make sense for me to save the money for January. And, you know, if I find an area which I don't really like in the squad when I'm playing games, I'd come to January and sort it out. But if I just blew it all on Marco Royce, I would not be able to do that. So we lose a friendly to Mainz, which, you know, is not very good. I mean, it's more than not very good. It's quite annoying, really. But as I say, it's only friendly, so it doesn't really matter too much. And Manchester City accepts her off for Stefan Jovetic, which is pretty good. So we've got a replacement for Benzema pretty much instantly, which is very good. Obviously, he's not as good as Benzema, but I think he can grow into a pretty good player. And we've got a loan offer for Di Tomas, so he's going to go on loan to SD Pomferradi. I don't know if I said that right, uh, probably didn't. And uh, we got a friendly against Hull City, just to finish off all the friendlies. Hopefully we can get a win, which we do. Nice 4-0 win. Illa Remendi gets two goals as well, which is really good. And Jovetic has signed for the team. You can see here, good finishing stats, good all-around player pretty much, good dribbling. I think that his dribbling stats are one of the main points about him. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. I think he will be quite a valuable player to this side. And this is going to be the end of the episode. We are going to be going into the next game to start the Spanish Super Cup against Atletico Madrid in the next episode. So if you have enjoyed this episode, please drop a like, subscribe to Harps CM, and also tell me if you want the next episode. I'll bring it out as quick as possible. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.